Hello again. My name is Daniel Olson Chin, uh, a Chinese Norwegian living in Japan. I'm a violin maker, bow maker, and a violin string maker. But today, I would like to talk about how to hold the bow. I believe everyone has this experience when you change a teacher, you change the way you hold your bow. Different teacher always tell you different way to hold the bows. And if you notice all the greatest violinists in the world, to see their video DVD, then you found everyone is different. Why? Because everyone has different hands. They are not the same hands. So only follow your teacher may not the best way for you. So you have to find out the best way to hold the bow for yourself. But how can we know this is the best way for me? Easy. If you are each here, Kayoi Nanane, Yang Hia, Jetari Koiko, Ah, Kayoi, Kayoi, Kayoi. If you each, you do this. So your fingers know the best how to feel. If you can make the bow like your finger, that's the correct way to hold the bow. So you hold the bow like a part of your body. It's like a saw you can find with people very firmly. And Chant Mutsuka the side, Chant Mute. Ningai Nada Shoshan, Shang Iba Chien Yang, Shang Sitsi Shanti Li Bufen. So when you play violin, if you can do this, when I was at Norway uh, State Academy of Music, my teacher was Erlof Boy Hansen. He taught me a way to practice the bowing. I think it's very, very good. I recommend it to you and you can try. If you can do this on your violin, no matter how you hold your bow, it doesn't matter if you can do this. That's the correct way. You hold the violin, you do. If you do this and you are not tired, not tired, then that's the correct way you hold your, your bow. Then your bow is very, very, very in your hands, in your control. If you do this, you drop your bow or you play it a couple of times, you feel tired. That is not the correct way to hold the bow. And of course, you do this too. To both way and to see if your if your bow is, is hold firmly. This is to trying to relax. Nino, try not to touch the both two strings in the middle. Only G and E, and you should not feel tired here. No place is tired. It's, it's, like, it's like you are doing this. And you're, you're not be tired doing this. This is very easy. But if you're not hold the bow firmly, then you will be very tired after a couple of times. That's all for today. I hope uh, if you don't think this is correct, don't listen to me. Because I'm not a violin teacher. I'm a violin maker, bow maker, and make the violin strings. Okay, I hope my experience of violin playing help you to make violin playing easier. Okay, that's all for today. And thank you very much. Cheers and time.